2017 data from the CDC says suicide is the second leading cause of death in Idaho among people ages 15 to 44. But the sad journey of the surviving loved ones of those who have died can be an isolating and confusing one. S6 on your side's Madeline White reports survivors are paving the way for others with more resources in Idaho. Now one inspiring survivor tells us how in seeking support from her community, she gained hope that she can learn to live again and not just survive. She had the most warm, completely embodying hug and that was her signature. It's been five years since Carmen Stinger Barney experienced the unthinkable. Nobody ever thinks that. You think to yourself as a parent, what would I ever do if this happened to me? And this happens to other people. It won't happen to me. But when she lost her 15 year old daughter Maddie to suicide, it was an absolute and complete shock. My whole world caved in. She says she was left with a choice. You can um, fall into that depth of darkness and stay there or you can honor and memorialize. So she honored Maddie in an 18 mile out of the darkness overnight walk sponsored by the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention in Seattle. It was amazing to be among other people who had had a similar experience. Community support and understanding she found was key. I all of a sudden for the first time since I lost Maddie became energized. Energized to bring resources to Idaho. You can embrace that grief and you can move through it. Like the annual Out of the Darkness Walk in Meridian coming up October 12th. And in Southeast Idaho, we've also been able to bring two new walks there. She co-founded the Idaho chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, establishing survivor support groups in Idaho. Someone who has suffered a loss can contact our Healing Conversations trained um, survivors and they will be able to help somebody walk through the initial shock. So with her daughter's ashes and a photo she book of memories, she says she takes with her everywhere she goes. Always a smile. Carmen says she pushes forward with the strength Maddie's memory gives her to save lives and support all loved ones. I believe that when I see her again, um, it will be a beautiful reunion and that she will wrap her arms around me and give me that hug that she's so famous for. All encompassing, heartwarming. And I hope I get a soft whisper that says, I'm proud of you, mom. Dial the number on your screen if you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or is exhibiting warning signs. To learn more on that, visit our website, sixonyourside.com. In Boise, Madeline White, Six On Your Side.